lovely people and welcome back to yoga with kate i hope you're all fit and well namaste to you all welcome to today's class which is going to be a yoga flow full body yoga flow class for you it's going to be cardio quite intensive but don't worry it's suitable for beginners to advance i do give options it won't be suitable for pregnancy so please don't do this if you're pregnant and as always it's worth consulting with your doctor before participating right without further ado let's get started Right, if you're new to yoga throughout this practice, if it's a bit too much for you, you can pause the video and drop yourself down into child's pose and have a little rest there and do what's right for you. Right, starting off at the front of the mats, feet into dasana, hip width apart, palms facing forward. We're going to give our shoulders a lovely roll back and down and keep them pushed down. Tuck your bottom tailbone under so your pelvis is in neutral and just close your eyes there for a second. We're going to take our toes up towards ceiling, extending those toes up to engage the core. We're closing our eyes now. Just focus on the breath. Nice big inhales, exhales through your nostrils. And we're going to lower them back down. We're taking a nice big inhale. Exhale into prayer, open your eyes, namaste everybody. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the right leg back, retain your breath. Take the other leg back into plank. Come down on knees if you need to, or Chaturanga Dadasana for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale back into downward dog. So walking out those feet, go up on those toes. Important to walk those feet out. I'm going to do a couple of warm-up rounds of sun salutations, Surya Naskar, to make sure we're nicely warmed up before we start. So here we're just going to bend those knees, lean our body weight forward, and then come back up. We're going to do a few repetitions of these, bending the knees, and come back up, bending the knees, come back up. One more of those, bending the knees, and come back up. Looking forward, inhaling your right foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the left leg back, retain your breath. Take the other leg back into plank. Come down on knees if you need to or Chaturanga Dadasana for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. So yet again, walking out those feet, head and neck, nice, relaxed, go up on those toes. Stretch out the Achilles hamstrings here. Fantastic in yoga flow classes to do this, just to warm up properly. And yet again, we're gonna bring our body weight forward onto the hands and we're just dipping those knees down, doing a few repetitions of those, heels back and then coming forward, dip the knees down. We're going back, dip those knees again. Great for the core as well. A couple more of these. And one more. And then coming back, so looking forward, we're inhaling that left foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the right leg back, retain your breath. Take the other leg back into plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. So we're walking out those feet once more. This time we're going to keep the left heel down on the mat and we're simply hooking the right foot behind the left ankle. So you've got a lot more work going on in that left leg, up the hamstring Achilles here, and in the foot, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking forward, inhaling the right foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the left leg back, retain your breath, take the leg back into plank. 
Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. So this time you're keeping the right foot right heel down if you can. Don't worry if it's not flat to the floor. Bring the left foot around the back of the right heel. So yet again, feel a big stretch out the back of the leg, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking forward, inhaling the left foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side. So if you're new to yoga, you can keep walking your feet back in this part. If you want to work a little bit more, we're gonna pull in our Mula Bandha Uddiyana Bandha pelvic floor muscles, and we're gonna jump back into planks. So do whatever is right for you. Taking a nice big inhale. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend, stepping or jumping back into plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra. Exhale, back into down dog. Okay, so here we're pivoting our left foot towards the left side of the room. Right foot comes in between the hands, right leg is straight and up we come. So options here, if you're new to yoga, you're just going to clasp opposite elbows behind your back. If you wish for more, you're taking your hands into reverse prayer, reverse namaskar. So your hands are in reverse prayer, you're getting those elbows back to open that chest, and we're simply dropping forward and down. So if you wish for more, you're extending those toes on that right foot up towards the ceiling, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and here we're simply bending that right knee, going up on the toes of the left foot, and we're simply twisting our body around to the right hand side. Lock back that left heel for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done. Hands either side of that foot, back into plank, coming down knees, chest, nose, forehead, or chaturanga, five, four, three, two, one, inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. It's our resting posture, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. Okay, pivoting the right foot towards the right side of the room. Left foot comes in between the hands, left leg is straight and up we come. So yet again, what worked for you before, opposite elbows or hands into reverse prayer, reverse namaskar, elbows back, Chin out in front and forward and down we drop. Yet again, if you wish for more, staying those toes up to the ceiling. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now bend the knee, coming up on the toes of that right foot, and we're simply twisting our body round to the left hand side. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, well done. Hands either side of that foot, back into plank. Exhaling down, down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Looking forward, stepping, walking or jumping in between those hands. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend, stepping, walking or jumping back into plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Okay, keep your left foot where it is. Bring our right foot through in between the hands, right knee is bent, and up we come. Coming up into our lovely warrior one. So we're gonna extend the arms up to the ceiling, relax those shoulders down, looking up. If you find it hard to balance, keep looking down towards the floor. Should have a little back bend going on in the base of your spine. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, here we're going to bring the left arm over the right thigh, right arm comes behind your twist your mouth to look down that right arm, if you can you're hooking your hands into prayer, hooking the left elbow over that right thigh, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two. One, well done. Back into a plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two. One, inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Walk out those feet, head and neck. Gentle shake from side to side. Keeping your right foot where it is, bring the left foot through in between the hands, so left knee is bent and up we come. Raising the arms up again, release the shoulders down away from the ears, yet again keep your gaze down if the balance is hard for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well done, so right arm comes over the left thigh, left arm comes behind, looking behind you, and then if you wish for the second option, has it to prayer, hooking the right elbow over that left thigh, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one well done, back into plank, coming down knees or chaturanga for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, inhaling into cobra or up dog, exhale, back into down dog, looking forward, stepping, walking or jumping between those hands, inhaling the arms up, look up, exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling, exhaling into prayer, inhaling the arms up, look up, exhaling forward and down to a standing four bend, stepping, walking or jumping back into plank, exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one, inhaling into cobra or up dog, exhale, back into down dog. Okay, keeping your left foot where it is, bring the right foot through to the outside of the right hand. Now here we're sinking down to our left knee, we're dropping down to that left elbow, and if you can, you're pushing away that right knee, so you can see the sole of that right foot. Here we're just dropping that right arm behind us if we can, twisting around to look up to the ceiling over our right shoulder, so a lot of work going on in that piriformis and glute. Fantastic for sciatica, this posture. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, well done, hands to the mat, so right foot to the mat, tucking under those toes. So, lizard here, we're coming down to the elbows, if you can, stay on the hands. If you're more advanced, you're hooking the right arm underneath the right leg, left hand behind, clasping the hands. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, we're placing the left hand to the inside of the right foot, right arm extends up to the ceiling, we're looking up, reaching into those fingertips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, well done, back into plank, coming down knees or chaturanga for 5, 4, 3, 2, one, inhaling into cobra or up dog, exhale, Back into down, just walk out those feet, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. Okay, coming your right foot where it is, bring the left foot through to the outside of the left hand. So yet again, we're sinking down on that left knee, dropping down to that right elbow if you can. Here we're simply pushing that left knee away from us so you can see the sole of that left foot. Yet again, once more, we're dropping that left arm behind, looking up to the ceiling if we can. Staying there, for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. So left foot to the mat, tucking the toes under on the right foot. Stand that leg back. So hands to the mat if you can, dropping down to the elbows on the mat. If you can, that left arm underneath left leg, right hand behind, clasping the hands for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right hand comes to the mat, it's the left arm up, it's twisting around, reaching into those left fingertips, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, well done, back into a plank, exhaling down knees and chaturanga, for 5, 4, 3, 2, one, inhaling into cobra or up dog, exhale, Back into down dog, looking forward, stepping, walking or jumping in between those hands. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. 
Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing four bend, stepping, walking, or jumping back into plank. Exhaling down, knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Okay, so we're getting our left on the mat. We're just extending our right leg up into three-legged dog. So hips should be square to the floor, toes pointing towards the floor on that right foot. Suck your tummy in. Shift here with that left heel goes flat on your left foot. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we're bending that right knee. We're bringing the right hip back, trying to drop that right foot over the left buttock. Should feel a lovely pull going on in your tummy here. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Back into plank. Coming down knees or chaturanga. For 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale. Back into down dog, head and neck, gently shake from side to side. Okay, keeping the right foot on the mat, taking the left leg up into three-legged dog. Yet again, heel should go flatter on the mat, hips square to the floor, toes pointing towards the floor. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bending that left knee, bring the left hip back, trying to drop that left foot over the right buttock. Staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Back into plank. Coming down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale. Back into down dog. Looking forward. Stepping, walking, or jumping in between those hands. Inhaling the arms up. Look up. Exhaling. Arms. By your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing full bend, stepping, walking, or jumping back into plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Okay, so here we're pivoting our left foot towards the left side of the room. Right foot comes in between the hands. Now, right knee is bent here, and up we come. So we're simply resting the right elbow on the right thigh and dropping that left arm over the top. Twist around to look up to the ceiling if you can. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From here we're going straight into a warrior two. Looking down the middle finger of the right hand, squash your feet into the mat. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Hands either side of that foot, back into plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Have a little rest, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side, and walk out those feet. Pivoting the right foot towards the right side of the room. Left foot comes in between the hands. Left knee is bent and up we come. So this time resting the left elbow on the left thigh. Right arm drops over the top. Looking up to the ceiling if you can. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more time. Going straight into warrior two. Sink on down. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one more done. Hands either side of that foot, back into plank. Exhaling down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Looking forward, stepping, walking or jumping in between those hands. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing full bend. Stepping, walking, or jumping back into plank. Exhaling down knees to a chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Okay, we're going into our lovely pigeon now. We're swinging our right leg through under the left. Right leg through under the left. 
right knee to the right outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down, so your right toe is approximately where your left hip bone is. We're just walking those hands, arms out in front, and we're just resting here now onto our cool downs, warm downs, and just stay there. Nice deep breaths. Fantastic posture for the hip piriformis glute. And yet again, if you suffer from sciatica pigeon, is the posture for you. So yoga flow is fantastic for weight loss, keeping you flexible. Yet again, only 20 minutes or so a day or every other day to keep yourself feeling great, raises your energy levels and just stay there. Okay, so we're just going to push ourselves up slightly, keeping our right hand in front, bending the left knee. If you can, you're taking all the left foot and pulling it in towards the left buttock. If you can't manage that, just keep the leg bent and stay there. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and release. Well done, pushing yourself back up into a walking down dog. Walk out those feet, head and neck nice and relaxed. Go up on those toes. And then we're swinging left leg through under the right. Left leg through under the right. So left knee to the left outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So that left heel is where your right hip is approximately. Yet again, we're just walking the hands arms out in front, resting your forehead on those and just stay there. Let your body sink into the mat. So your heart rate should be calming down a little bit now. Yoga flow Ashtanga is quite cardio class. Last couple of breaths. Okay, so pushing ourselves up halfway once more. Left hand comes in front, we're bending that right knee, taking hold of the right foot or ankle and trying to pull that right foot in. Don't overdo this stretch, please. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Well done, hands back to the mat. And we're just gonna push ourselves back up into one final downward dog. And we're gonna really sink down into this posture now. So keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Feet should be hip distance apart. Try to get those heels down to the mat, eventually forehead on the mat. If you're doing a bit of a longer class in this, you should notice a bit more flexibility. And we're just staying there, fantastic posture. All the blood goes behind the internal organs and massages them. So just staying there, another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Simply drop down to your knees here into child's pose. You deserve it. Let your bottom sink down to those heels. Simply resting forehead on your mat, arms drop to the side, or whatever's comfortable for you. Just stay there. Last couple of breaths. So pull your tummy in now as we're uncurling, we build that spine. Up we come to seated. We're going to give our shoulders a final roll back and down and keep them pushed down. And you made it, very well done to you. Thank you very much for joining me for this yoga flow, full body yoga flow class today. I really hope you enjoyed it, I know I did. If you did enjoy the class, please give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, let me know how you got on. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.